Next week, if you live in Tuscaloosa, you'll be casting your ballot for the city's next mayor. Here's a look at the three choices you have on March 2nd. Here's who's on the ballot, Dr. Serena Fortenberry, who is a faculty member at the University of Alabama. Martin Houston, a former Alabama football player, businessman, and pastor, and incumbent Mayor Walt Maddox, who is going for his fifth term as the city's leader. Tonight, we continue our look at some of the big issues facing residents of Tuscaloosa. We asked the candidates where they saw the relationship between the police and the community and how they want to see that improved. We're going to start tonight with incumbent Mayor Walt Maddox. He pointed to more recent efforts to have officers go out and reconnect with the community, combined with other efforts from the city. Following the death of George Floyd, uh, something extraordinary happened in our community. Uh, we created Project Unity. I met personally with over 60 stakeholders to talk about what can we do to strengthen our community with the police. Uh, out of that, the city has eliminated chokeholds. We passed an unracial bias uh, police policy, and we've also passed a policy that requires any officer, if they see any abuse of a suspect or someone in custody, that they have to report it, even if it's their supervisor. Dr. Serena Fortenberry wants to see stronger educational initiatives involving police officers in schools. She also wants officers to take on a more, uh, more like a, a mentor approach with students and not a security guard, noting their presence in the community is key. Um, I'm a big proponent of community policing that involves um, patrol officers knowing the constituents that they serve. Um, very often I will see patrol officers in my neighborhood who are parked and their windows are up and they're just a presence, but they don't roll down their windows and speak to people. And, and so that facilitates to me um, community trust and, and a friendship. And I think that our police officers should be our friends. Um, they're here to protect and serve. Martin Houston says officers have an expanding role and need the resources to focus on issues like mental health, which he says is a growing part of the job. He also wants to see an emphasis placed on how the community sees and interacts with each man and woman in uniform. Helping the police uh, in their profile uh, in the community, uh, giving them opportunities to uh, get jobs as security officers, uh, working events, being out in the community where they're not just seen as the guys who come arrest, uh, but who are part of the community. Tuscaloosa's mayoral election again is March the 2nd, and um, there are going to be three candidates sitting down with us, the three you just heard from, tomorrow night for a virtual debate, and we want to hear your questions. What do you want to know from them? Record it, send us a video, or just send us an email with your questions, and we may use it during the debate. Send that to WVTM13 at WVTM.com.